On a distant planet, there exist three species of birds. Each species is similar except there are variations with regards of their beaks. One frog mouth bird. Second, chopstick mouth bird. Third, toothpick mouth bird. Once a year, an extremely rare new species of bird was discovered. Spoon mouth bird. What is natural selection? Natural selection is the process of nature randomly choosing characteristics for different species, which is the key to evolution. As a group of four, each student will represent each species of bird. You have 15 seconds to gain as much food as possible. At the end of the 15 second round, count the pieces of food that you have collected and record it in the data tables below. Following are the video recordings of the labs that we have done using the chopsticks, using the spoons and using the toothpick to pick up different ingredients that the birds can eat. Hi Polisic, I think that the chopstick beak bird will be able to capture more jelly than the other birds because the jelly are pretty big and the chopsticks are able to grab onto the jelly more easily. I think that the spoon bill bird will be able to capture more m and m than the other birds because the spoon is curved which makes it much easier to scoop up m and m Here's are the results. And this is our conclusion. This is how we would rank the fitness of the bird species in the jelly habitat. First place is the chopstick bird. In second place is a tie between the spoon and the fork bird. In third place is the toothpick bird. Next is the ranking for the M&M habitat. First place is the spoon bird. Second place is the fork bird. Third place is the chopstick bird. And fourth place is the toothpick bird. Conclusion question number one: What happened to the animal that cannot compete at will with other animals in the wild for food? They will eventually become extinct because they can't live as well in that environment. Compared to animals that have better characteristics, they would have better chance at surviving in their habitat. While the animals that don't have the characteristics would die, and the gene would die with them. Number two. List a real-life example of competition, where one species has a definite advantage over another species in the wild. Explain in detail. Well, for example, the lion and the cheetah. They are both predators in the savanna, and they must compete for their prey, which is deer. The lions hunt in packs, and they have powerful claws and arms to launch and attack the deer. The cheetah is a lone hunter and doesn't have the powerful claws that the lions have. But they have speed, which can outrun the deer, making them more likely to catch them in the situation. Number three. Sometimes animals that are newly introduced into an environment that they have never lived before outcompete and endanger the natural resident animals. Why do you think this happens? Because the new animals have characteristics that are better than the natural resident animals. They might have a stronger immune system or have characteristics that make them better adapted to the environment, therefore wiping out the natural resident animals. Question 4. If only one species is considered to be the fittest, then why do we continue to have so many other species surviving in an area? Because each species can find a way to survive on its own. In some environments, many animals such as sharks, eat fish, clownfish, eat small animals like shrimp, larvae, and plankton. They do not need to be in different environments to be able to eat and they can have variation in way of life. This is why we have other species that are able to survive on the same environment. Number 5. How do you think disease, natural disaster, or destructions of habitat. Why human can impact the process of natural selection. Global warming can melt the ice all over the world, which will cause the polar bears to be forced to adapt to extremely different climates. This can alter the process of natural selection because the animals are forced to adapt to very sudden change. 
Evolution is very slow process, meaning that the animals may not be able to adapt in time leading to extinction.